Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Passionate Kelsey here. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make this very, very basic, straightforward, top-down halter style top. I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, for this tutorial today, you are going to need a four millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a yarn needle of some sorts, and you're also going to need some scissors. And then for the yarn, I am going to be using Crafter's Secret Cotton. This is a 100% cotton yarn. It's a worsted weight. It is 2.5 ounces or 120 yards, and I have three of them. I'm gonna be making, in general, a size small to medium. You can use any worsted weight yarn you'd like. I definitely recommend cotton. Whatever you have on hand will work. Before we dive into it, I just want to let you know that this tutorial is going to be made in a made-to-measure fashion. So basically throughout the tutorial, I'm going to be asking you to hold the project up to yourself and just keep adding rows or continue working on the project until it fits to your liking. There's no specific instructions for like extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. This is just going to be make it until you like it. So to begin our project, we are going to make a slip knot. We're gonna put our hook in there and we're going to tighten it down just a little bit. Then from here we're gonna make a chain. Now the length of this chain depends on what you personally would like to do. This is gonna be sitting at the top of our halter top across your neck area. Since I have made this top before, I personally know that I like it to be about 22 chains long. Generally, I like to measure about mid collarbone to mid collarbone, but that is also where I like my tops to sit. I like them to sit right up around the collarbones. If you like them to sit lower, you might wanna make your chain a little bit wider, but you can make this starting chain as wide or as skinny as you'd like it to be. Just know that this is going to be the neckline area. So from here, we're going to turn and start working back on our chain. This top is going to be made with mostly just double crochets. I'm gonna begin my work with a stacked single crochet because that is what I like to do to start my rows of double crochet. I have a whole video on how to do this stacked single crochet if you're interested, but if you're not, you can just go ahead and chain three and that will count as your first double crochet. From here in the first stitch, we're gonna do an increase. So I went ahead and did that stacked single crochet and that counts as my first double crochet. I'm gonna yarn over now. I'm gonna go back into that first stitch again. And I'm gonna do another double crochet. So this counts as two double crochets in my first stitch. See? We're gonna move on down the chain, just doing double crochets, nothing special. One double crochet in every stitch until we get to the last stitch. So here I am, I have one stitch left right here. I wanna do the same increase that I did in my beginning of the row at the end of my row. So in my last stitch, I'm gonna do two double crochets. I go through and do the first one there. And then I'll go through that same stitch again and I'll do my second double crochet. Here we go. So I have an increase at the beginning and an increase at the end. Moving on to my second row, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my work. Now I'm gonna be starting with the stacked single crochet and that counts as my first double crochet or you can just go ahead and chain three if you'd like that instead. So there's my single crochet, there's my stacked single crochet and that counts as my first double crochet. I wanna do another increase so I'm going to do another double crochet right in that first stitch there. Okay, so now I have two double crochets in my first stitch and now I actually wanna do another increase, so I'm going to put a third double crochet into that first stitch there. So now I have three double crochets all together in that first stitch. 
Moving on, I'm just gonna continue my double crochets all the way across until I get to my last stitch in the row. Here we are at the last stitch in our row and I want to match the increase that I did at the beginning which was three double crochets in the first stitch. So I want to do three double crochets in my last stitch. So I'll yarn over, go through the last stitch, do a double crochet, do another double crochet into that same spot and then do another one so that I have three in total. I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to start the next row with another increase. I'm going to go do my stacked single crochet that counts as my first double crochet. And then I'm going to do an increase. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to put another double crochet right into that first stitch again. So I have two double crochets in the first stitch. And that's all we're going to do on this row. So I'm going to continue with my double crochets all the way across until I get to the last stitch in the row. Okay, last stitch in the row. I want to match what I did to start the row, which was two double crochets in the first stitch. So I'm going to do two double crochets in the last stitch. And that completes our row. So as you can see now, the sides are going out at a diagonal. And that's good. The next row, I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to do an increase of three double crochets in the first stitch. So I'm going to do that stacked single crochet. That counts as my first double crochet and then I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do two more double crochets right there in my first stitch. Okay, so I have three double crochets in total. I'm going to continue with my double crochet stitches all the way across the row until I get to the last stitch. All right, so at the last stitch in the row, we're always gonna match what we did to start the row, which this row was three double crochets in the first stitch. So I'm gonna do three double crochets right here in my last stitch. All right, so basically we're just gonna continue doing this. We're gonna be alternating rows of a two double crochet increase or a three double crochet increase, and it's just gonna go back and forth. So we started with two, and then we did a three double crochet increase row. We're just gonna keep doing those alternating rows until the top is as wide as you would like it to be. I am gonna keep doing this, and then once I reach a point that is about the right size, I will take it and show it to you wrapped around my body. But while you're working on it, I would just periodically hold it up to yourself, see how far it wraps around your bust, and just kind of gauge where you're at in the process. Okay guys, so I just wanna show you, this is the progress on my halter top. I have done a total of 15 rows and this is about where it's hitting, just right before my armpits on both sides. I definitely want this to be wider. I want it to go all the way back and around until it hits about right here. So I'm going to keep doing increasing rows, alternating the two increase and the three increase until whenever I hold it up, and it wraps around exactly to where I want it to like meet up in my back area. So if you want your top to be really wide and you want it to go all the way close to almost touching, 
just keep doing those increasing rows until you get there. If you want it to stop earlier right on your side so that you have a bigger open back where the lace up will be, then you can do that as well. But I will just continue adding rows of increasing on both sides until I get to a comfortable coverage that I like. Here I am back after a few more rows. I have in total 23 rows, but this is where my top will sit. And then once I smooth it out and wrap it around my back, this is what it looks like. This is about how much space I'd like to have in my back area. So this is where I'm gonna stop doing increases. And then at this point, I'm just gonna be doing straight rows down because I want it to be a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and continue on. So I'm going to show you here on a finished version of this top that I have on the length portion. You can make it a however long you want or however short you want, obviously, but I generally like to have three evenly spaced holes so that whenever I'm lacing up the top later, it's very easy to run your straps through there. So from experience making this top before, I know that I like to add nine rows of length and that means I have three rows with holes in the end and then in between each row with the hole in the end I have three solid rows. If you want to do exactly this then you can just go ahead and follow the rest of the tutorial. If you're not exactly sure how long you want it to be and if you just want to add rows until it fits you, you can put a hole in the end of every single row and then you will just have holes all the way down the side and that won't affect the top very much. You'll just have a bunch of holes available for you to lace up your straps in, but I am just gonna have three evenly spaced holes with three solid rows in between them. Now that my top has reached a width that I like, all we need to do is add some length. So I'm going to be continuing on with rows of double crochet. We're just not gonna be doing any increases, so it's basically just a regular double crochet stitch all the way across. You can do as many rows as you like to make the top as long as you like. And I am also going to be adding in some holes on the sides so that it's just easier to lace up the straps whenever I am finished later. So I'm going to go into my first stitch here and I'm gonna do a stacked single crochet, and that counts as my first double crochet in the row, right there in the first stitch. Like I said, I wanna create some holes so I can lace up my straps later, so I'm gonna go ahead and chain one. I'm gonna skip the second stitch in the row, and I'm gonna do a double crochet right there into the third stitch. Like that. And then I'm going to continue across in every stitch doing a double crochet until I get to the other side. In the last three stitches, I need to make another hole to match up with this one on this side. So I'll show you when we get there. All right, so I'm at the end of the row here and I have three stitches left. In the first stitch, I'm just gonna do another regular double crochet, and then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip my second stitch, and I'm gonna put my last double crochet into this last stitch in the row here, and that will create a hole that matches the hole that I made at the beginning of the row, so there's that one. If we go back to the beginning, here is this one there. Now for my next row, I'm just gonna turn my project and I am going to be doing just a regular row of double crochets. So in my first stitch, I will do that stacked single crochet that counts as my first double crochet. For the second stitch, I'm just gonna go into this chain space right there. And then from here on out, it's, it's pretty much just regular double crochets. So do one stitch in every open space. Here's a quick project check-in. Uh, we started here with the straight rows and I have done one row with a hole in it, three regular rows 
another row with a hole in it and then I've started my next set of regular rows of double crochet. I'm going to do my three rows of regular double crochet and then I'm going to finish off the end with a row of double crochets that has a hole at the front and at the end. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I have finished all of the length that I wanna to add to the bottom of my top. And then I have placed three holes on the side so that I can lace up my straps later. Basically, you just want your first row to have a hole, your last row to have a hole, and then you want a hole to be generally in the middle right there. From here, all we need to do is do our border with single crochets and our straps. So I'm going to turn my top so that I can start crocheting up the side here. My last stitch was a double crochet. I'm just gonna chain one. And then I'll get started with single crochets going up the side. So my first one is going to be just around my last double crochet. So I'll just put it through the whole space. Do a single crochet there. And then I'm gonna place a single crochet between rows and in the middle of the row. Right here. See where the rows meet, single crochet, and I'll do it around this double crochet just in the middle of the row. Where the rows meet, middle of the row. And basically just continue that all the way up the side. And you're just gonna keep doing that all the way up until we get to the top corner here for our strap. You don't need to do anything special in the corner here. Just continue with your single crochets all the way up the side. Okay, I'm gonna put my last single crochet right in the top corner. This should be the bottom of your very first stitch in the row. So now we're at the top of the neckline, so we wanna make a strap. For me, I'm gonna just start a chain, and I made generally a size medium, so I know that I need to chain about 200. The number of chains that you need to do is going to really depend on how wide you have your top and how much space you have in between your back panels because obviously if they are further apart you're going to need longer straps to lace them up. If they're right here close together you will not need as much length to lace up the back so I kind of just eyeball it and just kind of like lay it out. Once you have your strap change just kind of take the chain and lay it out give it a zigzag and then leave a good chunk down here for a bow but like I said I'm just going to be chaining 200. Once you have a good number of chains we are going to work back down the chain to make it a little bit stronger. I personally like to do slip stitches back down my chain so I'll just go into the next available chain space yarn over and pull through both loops and then I will do slip stitches all the way back down until I get to my top. If you would like your strap to be a little bit thicker you can do something else such as single crochets, half double crochets, double crochets. You can really do whatever you want just as long as you are going all the way back down the chain until you get to the top and then I will meet you there. All right, once we've made it all the way back down to the corner right here, I'm gonna do my last slip stitch just through the front of this single crochet that I did. Just because I find that if you don't do that, it usually leaves a gap. But I'm gonna put another single crochet into this corner where we did our last single crochet. 
So now I have two there in the same hole. Then I'm just gonna continue with the single crochets across the top of the neckline until I get to the other corner. Did my last single crochet in the corner there. And then we're just gonna do the exact same thing to make our second strap. So I am going to chain 200 and then I'm gonna slip stitch all the way back down to this corner. So go ahead and do that. Okay, we finished with the second strap. So we are going to be continuing the outline with single crochets. Need to crochet all the way down this side and around the corner. Also, while I'm doing these crochets just right here at the beginning, I'm crocheting over my end, this one, right where we started the project, so that I don't have to weave it in later. At the bottom, I have just this hole left and I am going to put three single crochets to turn the corner and I'm just gonna go around like the whole thing. So I'm just gonna go through the hole, do a single crochet, go through the hole again, single crochet, through the hole again, single crochet. And that will be the corner of my work. And then last but not least, I just need to crochet all the way across the bottom here so that I can get back to where we started the single crochet border on this side. Back at the other end, I started the border by doing one single crochet in this little area. So I'm just gonna put two single crochets into the hole. Cause on this side, if you remember, we did three around the corner. So I need three on this corner as well. So I just added the two and I have one from when I started. So from here, I'm gonna grab my scissors. I'm gonna cut off a good tail so I have enough to weave in. And then I will just pull it straight out like that. I'm gonna grab my yarn needle and then I'm going to thread it up. And we're gonna weave in our end. The first thing I wanna do is connect the top of the stitches in the round. So I'm gonna go through the top of the first single crochet that we did. Just like that just right under the two loops that are the top of the stitch. I'll pull it through. And then from here, I want to go down the top of the last single crochet that we did, right where our yarn is coming out of. So I'm gonna go down through there. I'm also gonna put it through the front like that. I'm gonna pull my yarn through and what that does is it creates a little loop so that your stitches look like they're made in a seamless round. From here, I'm going to just weave in 
the end very well. I'm gonna run it under a bunch of stitches in three different directions. So I'll probably just make a little box. I usually go this way, I go this way, I go this way, and I'll go back down. After you have it weaved in enough, you can go ahead and clip off any excess. And then we are all done with the crocheting of the top. Now I'll just flip the top over and lace up the straps really quick. So when you are lacing up the straps, pick one side, grab the end of it, and you're gonna go diagonal to the other side. And I'll put it through the hole that we made on the side. And then I will go diagonal to the middle hole. Go diagonal again to the bottom hole on the other side. I'll do the same thing with my other strap. And then these two just tie in a little bow at the bottom. So, ta-da, we are finished. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got good use from this tutorial. It's very basic. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It totally helps my channel, and you can hit the bell so you don't miss any new uploads from me. If you make this top, go ahead and tag me on social media. I would love to see it. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye!